Hello everyone, welcome to the chapter 5 that is strings. In this chapter, I will be explaining the string data types in detail. So, what are the strings? So, strings are any sequence of characters within either single quote or double quotes are considered as strings. So, in most of the languages like C, C++, Java, a single character within single quote is treated as character data type, right? But in Python, we are not having any char as a data type, means we are treating it as string only. So, I am just giving you an example. For example, S is Python in single quotes or S is Python in double quotes. CH is A. For all of these, whenever I am doing type that we have already seen, typecasting, type of CH that is STR. So, class is string. Right? In that, we can define a multi-line string literals by using triple quotes or double quotes. So, for example, you wanted to tell you, your class definition detail. So, what you generally can do is you can define class and its name then column inside that with three quotes you can write multiple lines explaining details about that class so similar way just a multi-line string literals can be treated by the three quotes and it should end with three quotes whenever i am printing var it is telling that this is a three line of documentation strings that we are using so now how to access the character of string you can access the character of strings by using index or by using slice operator. So index means in Python, Python is zero index. So first will be zero index. Then slicing operation means 10 to 20 or 1 to 5 accordingly. So we will see that one by one in example. Before that, there are different functions that are used in strings that are used to do different operations in strings. And these are really important functions for your interviews. So, we will see them one by one. First one is length function, len. So, this is used to find the number of characters in the string. So, what is the length of string? So, len will be helpful. For example, I am writing any of the variable with having a one line of strings with n number of words, right? So, when you are doing len of s, it will tell that it has total 36 characters inside that particular string. So, now, how to check the membership in, inside operators and um, we have seen there are member type membership operation operators which were which are defined by using in keyword right so for example in this particular line if you wanted to see if learning is present what you can do is in print function you can just check if learning in s so that means this particular word is available in s or not it will print true if it is available and we are also known that python is case sensitive so learning will be different from capital l while learning right so that's why uh, if it is matching exactly it will print true or otherwise it will print false then we have a comparison of strings we can also compare these two strings one is s1 with whatever the input that you are asking from the user and second one will be s2 for example if both are equal it, it will print one function otherwise it will do another operation so now how these comparisons are performed this it will check if um, the alphabetically which is at the greater place right so for example y will be greater than t right so z will be greater than a so accordingly the comparison operations are performed we will also see those examples on our jupyter notebook so now to remove the spaces from the string to remove the spaces you can use r strip l strip and strip so r strip is it will just remove the right side spaces l will remove the left side spaces and strip function will just remove all the spaces see here there are no place spaces whenever you are putting or uh, checking the outputs then we have finding the substrings within four methods so for example in this particular string you wanted to find a substring if p is there if v is there if l is there so for that you can use find method so now inside a forward direction you can do find so that means s dot find of v it will just check in s and it will tell where is v present and it will just output the index of it right it is at 9 position so that p is at 9 position accordingly but it has multiple v's so first one which will be printing right second one is index function index function will take tell at what index this particular word or character is present for example l is present at 0th index so Whenever you are doing index, it will give output as 0. 
similar way you can do inside a range for example here you are taking e between 10 to 20 10 to 20 means it will start from 10 it will end to 19 30 to 36 means it will start 30 it will end to 35 as in python we know range function this is included this is excluded right whenever it is r find it is reverse direction backward direction it will check from that and if at all it is only for fine it will check in for our direction so whenever you are doing r find e in 10 to 20 it will check from reverse direction it is at first it will tell okay this is minus one for a similar way for r index reverse direction 36 to 30 it will check and tell it is at 35th position similar way if you wanted to count the substring you can use count method so you, you if you wanted to count e in all of the strings it will tell it is repeated four times see and also you can do uh, with a beginning and ending of the ranges for example you can count e with 10 to 20 so in that case it will just count in between those ranges right after that whenever you wanted to replace string with another you have to use replace method for example in this particular line of uh, string you wanted to replace easy with easy you just have to write as dot replace and then output will be this way now if you wanted to split the string and do certain operation so you can use dot split function so dot split function will be splitting the strings into the list which will be comma separated right so we will be seeing list in next chapters and we can discuss more on that but whenever you are doing as dot split it will split the string into the comma separated list now for example this particular variable is having the tuple of these three values right so why i am saying tuple this is for tuple and this is for list so now whenever you wanted to join all these elements so you can just do it by dot join method so it will be dot join method what you are joining this particular variable all elements inside this variable you are joining and with what you wanted to join in single quote you can give with what you wanted to join so it will be joined by dot sorry dash whatever you are uh, giving as input to dot join method so this is your output right so similar way if you wanted to change the cases of string you can do by using different methods like upper lower swipe title and capitalize upper will convert all the element or all the characters of string to uppercase lower will do the lowercase swap will just change whenever whatever is in uppercase to lowercase whatever is in lower to uppercase whenever i am doing title so all of the first letter to all the words inside a string will be capitalized so that will be titled and capitalize is just first one of all of your statement will be capitalized so in this way you can perform different operations on strings by using different methods now you wanted to check if x y z things are there inside your string for example s is this is line 1 right so in that you wanted to check if it has alphanumeric or if it had symbols so that you can do by using these different methods like is alpha new that will return all characters if at all it has having a e to z e to z 0 to 9 is alpha only alphabets is digit only digits is lower is upper is title and is spaces so this will tell you i will see all these examples in jupyter notebook this will tell you if x y z things are there inside your strings now you can format your string as well for example this is a line of statement uh, which you are printing with spin function but every time you want these values to be given by the user so you wanted to give, take input from user you can just use input function whatever the input that are there it will be stored to this variable so i am directly taking out input as python so whenever you are using dot format method and whenever you are using this opening and closing curly braces inside that you can tell what exact values you wanted to add dynamically so here it is name and salary so name will be python salary will be a one lakh right so its output will be python's salary is one lakh and his age is 35 so age is also third uh braces opening and closing right 
So similar way, you can also do it by indexing. So 0, 1 and 2. So whatever you are doing at 0, 1 and 2, it will take it and give you as output. Instead of 0, 1, 2, you can also give it as x, y and z. And then similar way, you can just give the values to z is equal to something, x is equal to something and y is equal to something. So this way you can also format your string. This is also one of the important questions inside interview. Uh, so how you will dynamically type or or, or um, dynamically you can give outputs to your screen by using different format operations. Right. So uh, with that said, let us quickly jump to uh, coding part. Okay. So inside the Jupyter notebook, all those examples, whatever we have seen, I have just uh, written and I am just doing shift enter to check if whatever we are saying is true. Now, um, this is multi-line strings. I am doing print. It will tell me, give me an output. This is a multiple lines in each separate line. All these details are printed. Then uh, by using slicing operator operations, you can check if some 0 is P, S of minus 2 means L is minus 1, 0 is O is minus 2 and S of 5 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I am printing, I am getting those output. By using slicing operations, you can do from forward to backward slices. If I am doing colon, colon and 4 means from starting to end with the steps of 4. Right? Steps of 4 means first and then 1, 2, 3 and then 4th. So accordingly, see, if I am taking the outputs, all the elements only which are outputted who are in multiples of 4. Now we are from 0 to 8 means 8 is excluded. So 0 to 7. So it will start from 0 index. It will end to 7th index with the steps of 2. So that's why only this is the output. Similar way when I am doing colon colon minus 1. So this is the easiest way to reverse your string. So whenever in interview you might be given a question to reverse your string. So this is one of the simplest way to do colon colon minus 1. So everything that is written, it will be reverse printed. Right. After that, we are just doing a length of it. See all those spaces are there. So still I am just doing this length operation. If I am doing it now, the spaces are also counted in length operation. Then I am saying this is membership operations. If this is present, then we are checking the different um, inputs. See if at all comparing the strings, if I am giving Python first and then I am giving P double Y, P H O N, the second should be greater than first one, right? So see this way, we can compare the strings. Then we are just removing these spaces at the front by using strip operations. So all the spaces are removed. Then we are just finding P and L index inside the strings. We can do that way. I am just counting the S dot count E operations. Similar way, I am replacing easy with easy. All these method, all these uh, functions, and all these examples we have seen. But I am just uh, doing it one by one in Jupyter Notebook. I can split it, it, and convert it to the list. I can join it. I can just completely convert it to lower upper title and capitalize this case. And also, last is I am just formatting the strings. These were all the example of strings. Uh, that is it from this chapter. We'll see in the next chapter. Thank you.